uh, uh, to become the number one bank, I suppose one of the uh, main ingredients <laughs> is good governance. Now, uh, how is is uh, Bank of Ceylon adhering to this very important factor? And in general, in the banking stream in Sri Lanka, uh, the private, the international, the overseas banks, and all that, how are uh, how are the these banks as well adhering to this very important thing, uh, corporate governance? Uh, Actually, in Bank of Ceylon, we have a special committee headed by uh, mm -hmm. few directors mm -hmm. uh, for corporate governance. Mm -hmm. And we adhere to all the requirements from Central Bank mm -hmm. and the banking community mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the corporate governance requirements. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all, I think all banks follow that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we have continuous uh, uh, sort of training and retraining about uh, requirements and adherence. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think uh, there's a lot of discipline built in on that, okay. and uh, we will we will definitely uh, we we have to follow the central bank guidelines okay. and adhere to that. Okay, doctor. Uh, with that, we come into our final break, and uh, soon after the break, we are going to ask doctor uh, how is it like to be an employee at the Bank of Ceylon. So please stay tuned. Welcome back. Thank you for joining the round table and uh, thank you for joining uh, me. I'm Chris Hunter along with my guests this evening, the chairman of Bank of Ceylon, Dr. Gamini Vikramasinghe. Uh, doctor, you have, uh, especially when you were working overseas, a uh, lot of uh, interaction with uh, various communities, various types of people uh, from all walks of life. Now, when you took over the responsibility of becoming the chairman three years back uh, at Bank of Ceylon. Uh, I'm sure you're, we're talking about closely upon 10,000 staff. Uh, how have you managed the, <coughs> the staff, uh, the unions, um, uh, the welfare of the staff, the constant uh, development of them, uh, the medical schemes, the insurance? How, uh, how have you managed all this with a huge crowd of 10,000 people working for you? <laughs> Um, yes, it's, uh, it's very interesting, <laughs> because uh, Bank of Ceylon is a very large staff, mm -hmm. mostly qualified, educated staff. Mm -hmm. uh, we have strong unions. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, it makes my life much easier. Uh, the unions are very responsible okay. and also very loyal to the bank. Mm -hmm. Those two are very important. Mm -hmm. uh, they will never see any, any damage come to the bank, mm -hmm. they are very loyal. So in that kind of framework, uh, to motivate them and get the work done, everything depends on the corporate management, mm -hmm. the management people. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bank of Ceylon, it's, it, we are the number one brand. Mm -hmm. uh, give an example, uh, we advertise for 1,000 jobs for banking assistance. We got more than 125,000 applications from all over the country. Mm -hmm. Recently in the north, we advertised for 40 jobs agriculture, uh, like diploma level, okay. right, to help the farmers and all that kind of people. Mm -hmm. I think we had nearly 10,000 applications <laughs> for that in the north. Okay. But people applied from all over the country, mm -hmm. right? We wanted them to be Tamil speaking. We wanted them to be many, many mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. I know so many applications. <laughs> Recently, we advertised for our investment banking mm -hmm. unit, and we got well over a thousand applications on those high competence level okay. people. Okay, right? and that also well over thousand. Well over thousand. Okay. So there must be some magic. Okay. People wanted to join bankers, you know. Okay. On the other side, you ask for welfare and everything else. Unions have made sure <laughs> bankers and employees are being looked after. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I think uh, our employees, uh, when they retire, I mm -hmm. think they get. I might be wrong, but I think about 85% of their current salary okay. when they retire. So I think sometimes better to retire. <laughs> so, and then uh, for the pensioners and others also, mm -hmm. uh, time and again, mm -hmm. uh, the revisions are made, mm -hmm. uh, medical and all the other areas have been looked mm -hmm. after. In addition to, we have other facilities to make their recreation, mm -hmm. 
uh, family holidays and various other things okay. also we have provided for. I know that you have bang holiday bungalows all around. Yes, we have uh, <laughs> many areas from Nureli okay. to Kataragamadu, Anuradhapur. Okay. Now we will set up something in Jaffna okay. uh, and Trincomalee and others so that our employees and their families mm -hmm. also can go and take a vacation. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's a happy family. It's <laughs> a very tough, happy big family. <laughs> uh, we have tough times, but uh, at the end of the day, yeah. I think if you talk openly, if you talk mm -hmm. straight, mm -hmm. I think it's not difficult to mm -hmm. sort problems out. Mm -hmm. Doctor, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's the angle of uh, a company looking after their staff. Uh, Doctor, how is it uh, looking after the society, your corporate corporate social responsibility, how have you been, uh, what are your budgetary allocations for 2010 for CSR uh, from the Bank of Ceylon? Uh, actually we are doing a lot of uh, CSR projects mm -hmm. over the years mm -hmm. uh, from small to large kind of projects. Uh, but what we are trying to do now from 2010 onwards mm -hmm. are certain substantial projects. Uh, I cannot discuss some of the projects as such mm -hmm. today, mm -hmm. uh, but if you ask me for fi financial allocation and others, mm -hmm. uh, I think we, we, the current budgets are, even today we approved a project, mm -hmm. uh, maybe about uh, 20, 30 times than what we have spent before. Okay. But this is for the benefit of the people, mm -hmm. uh, all walks of people, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and, and basically good for the country, good for the people, and uh, uh, combination of those things. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and different different types of uh, CSR projects mm -hmm. to help the people, they gain their knowledge, uh, being able to be employable. Uh, then also for uh, uh, national sites, some of the sites that mm -hmm. peop all people can mm -hmm. enjoy and be able to preserve. Uh, so it's a combination thing. So we are seriously looking at okay. opportunities and uh, we have set certain budgets uh, and we won't try to do many things which we can't handle mm -hmm. but a few at least do it well, well and focus then go on forward. One thing and yes. uh, Doctor, the, uh, uh, I think today you, you successfully uh, concluded a debenture issue uh, which was uh, as usual oversubscribed. Now how does this in, in, in this uh, in this context, Doctor, how do you think uh, this achievement reflect uh, in Bank of Ceylon? Uh, actually, that's a good achievement what we did. Mm -hmm. We wanted to raise three billion mm -hmm. and we had a higher ceiling which we got approval from SCC for mm -hmm. five billion. Mm -hmm. uh, in the first day, we had it in the evening, we launched it, but then like the next day we mm -hmm. collected almost the three billion what we wanted. Mm -hmm. But then we had the closing date uh, I think tomorrow is the closing date. We had the other days. Okay. So then the bank decided to keep it open. Okay. And uh, if anybody wants to come and invest with us, mm -hmm. leave it open. Mm -hmm. So as of today, we got oversubscribed above the CC okay. limit. Okay. So uh, then uh, we had to give back mm -hmm. some of the people's uh, money back mm -hmm. or investments back. Mm -hmm. uh, we got more than five and a half or 5.7 billion. Okay. But 5 billion was our upper limit. Okay. So we shut it at 5 billion. Okay. So our project is done. <laughs> and tomorrow will be a bank holiday. <laughs> it's unexpected. Unexpected. <laughs> that was our plan. That's yeah. true. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Doctor, I, I, I couldn't uh, get a prospectus uh, for the debenture. So what, what exactly are you planning to do with this uh, money? Yeah, actually, uh, we were looking for long-term lending okay. and also for our own tier 2 capital. Mm -hmm. uh, so both uh, we had some projects in mind. Uh, that's why we wanted mm -hmm. about three billion. Mm -hmm. We thought if we get a little bit more, mm -hmm. we'll do this. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the future also we have other plans uh, for various kinds of... Uh, we want to focus it into the projects. Mm -hmm. And if we need some capital for that to do mm -hmm. that part and then the returns we calculate over the years, mm -hmm. then if we don't have enough liquidity, we might raise mm -hmm. capital. Mm -hmm. So now I think people know us, people mm -hmm. trust us. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think for the government also is a good thing mm -hmm. uh, and for the whole economy yeah. is a good thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very uh, uh, and for the whole country.